Welcome to Thought Control and today I have a question for you. Have you watched The Kashmir Files yet? This is probably the only movie which is being considered as a national movement much more than just a film. Let us know why. The Kashmir Files is based on Kashmiri Pandit's alleged exodus from the valley in 1990 amid wild sharing of provocative and inflammatory videos being shared by those watching Kashmir Files. Questions are now raised as to why not highlight a series of communal riots and other violent incidents that occurred with regular intervals in different parts of India. The movie stars Anupam Kher, Darshan Kumar, Mithun Chakraborty and Pallavi Joshi among others. The film was released nationwide on March 11. It is accused that the filmmaker and the cast have the backing of the BJP and RSS, the ruling dispensation in India. The allegations seem to have credence as all BJP ruled states have waived off the tax on the film and are also organizing its special screening and show. In some states, the government announced paid holiday for the staff who wish to watch the film. Besides this, Prime Minister Modi too has endorsed the film. There is a difference of opinion about who actually was responsible for the alleged exodus of pundits from Kashmir. There are also doubts over the actual data of those affected. The film, however, has portrayed the incident in a way that is charging the already polarized atmosphere in India. The filmmaker is also accused of twisting the actual facts. So a question may arise, why not ban the film? Social media platforms are flooded with videos showing people vowing for revenge after watching the film. Alarmed by this, AIUDF President and MP Badruddin Ajmal Qasmi has asked the governments in New Delhi and Assam to ban the screening of the film. So why not Lakhimpur files? On the other hand, Samajwadi Party raked up the Lakhimpur killing and asked why a film should not be made highlighting farmers killing. If a film like the Kashmir Files could be made, then there should also be one on the October 2021 Lakhimpur Kheri violence. Sitapur is a neighboring district of Lakhimpur Kheri. If a movie has come up on Kashmir, then a film can be made on the Lakhimpur Kheri incident also. It is said certainly Kashmiri pundits were killed in Kashmir. 209 people were killed. But who will shed tears for the 1500 Hindus who were killed? who were not Kashmiri pundits who belonged to the Dogra area. Seeing the film, the Prime Minister of the country remembered the suffering of Kashmiri pundits. He has been in government for seven years. Meanwhile, social media is also trending with hashtags Gujarat Files along with hashtag Kashmir Files. Question arises, why not Gujarat Files? On 27 February 2022, a train coming from Ayodhya was set on fire by a Muslim mob in Godhra, Gujarat. 59 Karsevaks who were returning from a pilgrimage at Ram Janmabhumi were burnt alive. Subsequently, widespread communal riots took place in Gujarat, leaving hundreds dead. Who will speak up about these riots? Who will make films on these riots is still a burning question. The unfortunate riots, however, were used by the opportunist vultures for dirty politics and defame Gujarat as well as the then Chief Minister Narendra Modi. There's still hope that other files will get enlightenment and will come to the forefront. If we choose one among the lot more other, probably more inhuman rights, don't you think it won't be fair enough? India has an infinite number of rights from 1832 Bombay Dog Riot, as this is considered as written to 2022 Shiva Mokka riots. But why is film and hype created only one? Think and comment below.